to marriage, anti-gay campaigners in Russia were powerless to stop. Same-sex weddings here are banned, but these two St. Petersburg brides, a gay woman and a male-to-female transsexual, have found a loophole. According to their official documents, this is just a man and a woman tying the knot. To be honest, it's scary and uncomfortable because we don't know what to expect in the future. We could get married now because I have female documents and Arena has male ones. But already we've heard that government officials are preparing a law to forbid this. Russia's record on gay and transsexual rights is patchy. Controversial laws banning gay propaganda to minors, even teaching children about homosexuality, causing outrage among rights activists. Lawmakers in St. Petersburg have called this marriage unnatural, telling CNN the couple should be committed to a mental asylum or emigrate to the liberal West. There have been threats on social media too. But the newlyweds say they intend to ride out the abuse. I really hope it helps people to understand that if they fight for their rights, they can get them. I want this sort of reaction in the gay and transsexual community, but I also want regular people to be more tolerant of relationships. That would be really cool. In a country where traditional family values are actively promoted by the government and the rights of sexual minorities so often trampled on, this extraordinary marriage was always going to be controversial. Elona and Irina say they hope their example will help change attitudes. But the fact is, in this increasingly conservative modern Russia, that's going to be a struggle. A struggle in which the mere power of love may not be enough to prevail. Matthew Chance, 